Hello and welcome. You are watching Newsax and I am Megha Sharma. This is Statistically Speaking and today we pick up with a very pertinent subject of odd even crisis that has been rigged up by the Supreme Court. Now we have asked all our viewers to take a part of this five question survey and the question we are asking is whether the people of Delhi and our country think that odd even is in fact a permanent right solution to the air pollution problem that Delhi is facing. There are other related questions that we have asked and let's quickly take a look at this survey and what is it and how is it that you have rated these options that we have given for you. So the question number one that we asked was that did the odd even scheme reduce the pollution in the past? Well, 44% of you feel that yes, odd even scheme has in fact reduced pollution in Delhi in the past years. 50% of you feel that no, it has not reduced it. 6% of you feel that they don't really have a say in whether odd even scheme really was able to reduce pollution or not. Let's take a look at the second question of the survey. Do you think the odd even scheme will reduce the pollution in the future and this time around? Well, almost 50% of you, 49.57% of you believe that yes, odd even scheme will work, it will reduce pollution. 47.35% of you feel that no, it is not going to work. 3.08% have not been able to make their mind up. Question number three, should Delhi implement the odd even scheme? Let's quickly take a look at the response that has come of the viewers who have taken this survey. Well, more than half the people who have taken the survey, which is 56.61% of you feel that yes, odd even scheme must be implemented in Delhi. 42.51% of you feel that no, the odd even scheme must not be implemented. Can't say at a 0.88%, quite the negligible percentage. Question number four, what do you think is causing the pollution wave in Delhi. So to answer this question, let's take a look at the survey results. 53.96% or more than half of you feel that Parali and stubble burning are the reason Delhi is facing this pollution wave. 14.53% 14 of you feel that it is the vehicular pollution that is causing this air pollution. 11.45% of you feel that it is the factories that have led to this massive pollution problem. 8.17% of you feel that construction has led to this air pollution problem in Delhi this year. 11.89% of you feel that there are other reasons for the air pollution. Question number 5, why do you think the odd even scheme is being implemented in Delhi by the government? 52.87% of, of you feel that it is being implemented because odd even scheme really works. 34.80% of you feel that uh, the odd even scheme is in fact a distraction from the real issue that the government of Delhi is evading. 23.78% of you feel that maybe the odd even scheme will help and therefore the Delhi government has decided to take a chance on it. And 12.55% uh, of you feel that they, you can't really make up your mind on what is the reason that the odd even scheme has been implemented by the Delhi government. Now, now that we have been taken, taking a look at this very interesting survey, the results that have come out. It's a 50-50 situation of how people think about it, whether they are uh, of the opinion, because this is, this is like I said, a highly divided house. 50% of you, almost 50% of you feel that it is because of Parali that is causing heavy pollution in, in Delhi. The other 50% other feel that it is other pollution, including vehicular pollution, including uh, construction, including factories that is causing pollution and then also the very question of odd even where you are hugely divided. So I start my conversation with Joyita Basu. Joyita, uh, the results are interesting. While the Supreme Court has given a rap to the Delhi government saying that odd even is a mere optic, uh, 50 to 52 percent of the people who have taken the survey feel that odd even is going to work. 
see more to do with support for the government than actual awareness of the issue because if you are looking at what is uh, happening i mean here the 53% people i think the majority of people are also saying parali is the main issue now when parali is the main issue how is it that reducing some vehicles on delhi's roads will go actually going to reduce pollution hmm. because i'll tell you something you know there is till date there is no scientific evidence to say that odd even scheme works number 1 number 2 the odd even scheme is being implemented very cleverly you know why i'm using the word clever first of all it is being implemented in the week when most of delhi will be literally i mean i would say at least there will be a cut in 50 to 60% of vehicular traffic because everybody has gone on holiday okay the majority of delhi has gone on holiday lots of people drivers buses everybody they have gone to places like bihar to up and different places so the roads will be empty next week with or without odd and even okay. apart from the fact that next the parali burning cycle is almost over so next week there may be a drastic reduction in parali burning fumes so there is a possibility that delhi will get back its okay reasonably normal per air and all that will be said by the local government will claim that odd even is the reason okay. so i okay you know, all right also you know i was speaking to this aam aadmi party spokesperson i was also speaking to the delhi environment minister now they have said that this is you know coming up with the odd even scheme and this scheme about engine of red light on scheme and you talking about uh, you know water sprinklers and dust suppressants this is all this is all emergency measures and uh, they say that at this point of time when the situation is so bad that our aqi levels are severe plus hazardous uh there is there, this is this is like an emergency brakes that have been put and action is being taken so why is the delhi government been question about it is who is that question for yo yeah, for you yeah, okay uh it's basically you say these are knee jerk actions you say even when you are going to take action against delhi's pollution pollution that is coming from delhi in terms of vehicular pollution the dust construction dust factories all these pollution that is coming from delhi you know you cannot take a knee jerk action and expect by taking action in maybe 10 days or 15 days delhi's pollution problem is going to be solved delhi is polluted throughout the year okay you have to take measures throughout the year including tree planting all sorts of measures you have to take throughout the year for it to succeed and as i said you know when you know the reason here the reason is punjab why is delhi which is polluted throughout the year it is kind of goes over the edge you know falls from the cliff uh in this particular period of time it is because of the parali burning that is taking place in punjab so you see and you see the whole point is that if you need a long term a uh, holistic approach in tackling the problem and that requires a lot of things changing i mean right from changing the type of uh, crops that punjab is uh, sowing from there to decomposers you know the use of decomposers but the problem is again you see the politics has come into this yeah and unfortunately that- yeah and 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 despite every effort being made by our uh, uh, supreme court uh, Uh, the politics continues to penetrate there is no end to the brick bats and the blame game and the pot shots that are being uh, thrown by political parties whether it is bjp aam aadmi party congress a little less than the others uh, because the stake of the congress with with the rajasthan government in place by the congress uh, farm fires are rel- relatively lesser uh, so the contribution of rajasthan to the farm fires a little more reduced than the others uh, okay let's get an economic point of view and get in rajiv gupta he's a senior economist who's joining me joins me on the telecast so uh, rajiv when we talk about the odd even scheme or the odd even optic as the supreme court has called it yesterday uh, what are the economic repercussions of uh, implementing this scheme uh. 
I mean, first of all, talking about the optics, I think uh, since 50% of the people believe that it happens because of this, that is why the optics are done. I mean, optics are done for, for pleasing people who think that it is happening because of that. I am absolutely with Joyita saying that, I mean, there is no scientific evidence. And of course, you know, when you do this knee jerk, it is uh, basically because you have not done anything throughout the year. For three years, you know, it happens every year. Then, you know, all this, all the year round, you don't want to look at it in any fashion. And then when it happens, then of course, you will have to do something. So whether it 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 really serves the purpose or not, uh, it, you have to do something. As far as economics is concerned, I mean, uh, see, it is only on private vehicles that uh, this ban is put up. So I really do not see any significant uh, impact as far as, you know, those seven days or 10 days of this thing is concerned, but as far as vehicular this thing is concerned. Problem is when you talk about construction, construction industry, and it has been in the past that two, two months construction gets to a halt. And just think about the poor man who has to, whose who's kind of, whose uh, who's daily bread is impacted because of this. There are delays in projects which happen. There is so much which is happening in the Delhi NCR area. I think you must be aware about pro de project delays which are anyway happening. Yes. And then for two, two months, the construction doesn't happen. It has a huge impact on those projects. And it has a huge impact on the, on the workers who, who are working on these projects. So all these measures, whether it is vehicular or whether it is, uh, you know, doing this construction ban, et cetera, have to be done because something goes over the edge. The question that the government should be asking is what do they keep doing for those, uh, you know, all the year round yeah. to figure out what needs to be done so that this vehicle, see, it is very clear that if all the year round, the, the pollution levels remain within those reasonable limits, of course. Uh, Delhi, I mean, obviously, Delhi, uh, the, the Delhi air quality is amongst the worst across the globe. Even the rest in, of in the, case, you know, 11, point, 11 and a half months that we, we we live in Delhi and breathe the air. But but obviously, these are disastrous levels. So that's what I'm saying, uh, that this disastrous level happens because of something else. And rather than trying to tackle that something else on a long-term sustainable basis, we keep coming up with the, this knee-jerk reaction because at that stage, there is nothing else that the government has to show that it is doing. Hmm. And, you know, it's like managing emotions more than anything else that, okay, we have done X, Y, Z. But I think on certain fronts, of course, it has a lot of bad impact on uh, on... Okay. on daily workers so then, okay. and the project. Okay, so then when you, you, you've just taken a look at the survey, the results have come out and people do actually believe that uh, the, uh, you know, odd even scheme is actually working. In fact, 52% have shown their uh, belief that odd even scheme works. Now, is this, is this does this actually uh, seeped in scientific research and proof or, or is it is it the, the political optics of the government working? It is very clear that, you know, there was some scientific studies done in 2016-17. IIT Kanpur did some studies. Uh, the, the environment, this thing does, did some studies. There is some, you know, some little measure which obviously, you know, if, you, if there is some vehicles which are taken off the road, it will have some little impact. But whether that is a significant impact, whether that is significant enough or not. And as, as Joyita said, you know, you, you put up these things at a time and in a manner where you are never able to understand whether it is actually the odd even which has worked or whether it is actually some other things that have started to work. So, as I said earlier, optics are done because they are effective in the sense people do believe and you are made to believe that it is going to work. And that is why optics are done. If okay. it was not working, yeah. So I mean, that's okay. Okay. That's All how right. It is. All right. So, so you clearly are a disbeliever in the odd even scheme, uh, even as the Supreme Court uh, has reprimanded and uh, called out uh, the government of uh, Delhi's bluff. Meanwhile, uh, you know, while we take a look at this uh, perspective uh, that has been drawn by the viewers versus what my panelists are saying. And uh, to get an idea of, uh, of uh, another panelist who's joining me on the telecast right now, 
uh, his name is uh, advocate ajay kumar he is a political analyst and he advocate kumar it's it's very interesting since we are talking about a political debate now whether it is uh, you know a show a, a facade that is being put up by the aam aadmi party government uh, is this again going to help aam aadmi party to bring in its manifesto and campaigns the next time around delhi elections take place because in the past aam aadmi party has been winning the elections despite uh, deteriorating air quality index of delhi during this time i'll just quickly request you to unmute yourself sir am i audible yes yes so i'm saying this is a very serious thing but unfortunately when it comes to politics it doesn't still has started uh, becoming an agenda but i hope so with the deterioration in the delhi and not only on this front on every administrative front for a moment let's take give give all excuses and give all kind of uh, support to aam aadmi party and their initiative what happened when it rains in delhi it becomes flooded what happens when we have corona they are caught unprepared no oxygen in hospital no bed in hospital mm. what happens when there is a major fire incident you find the license norms were not followed and what government talks government recently announced a luxury bus scheme dtc is not being managed the salaries are not being paid the fleet is not converted and they are talking of giving air uh, airlines like service in delhi by starting luxury bus with the private operators so see the height of the contradiction here so advocate ajay ajay kumar let's let's all completely pan aam aadmi party and discredit it because uh, whatever said and done there has been uh, a sustained effort by the government to put up electric buses there are almost a thousand of them that are now plying on the delhi roads maximum of them across maximum number of electric buses across the entire country there are more that are going to be rolled out the number up to the estimate that has been made by the government to 2025 is that there are going to be 8000 electric buses of the total of 10000 buses that ply on delhi roads now now that's 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 a positive move I that would, is the I, kind I of action that you, needs to be provided. taken by the government no, no no i would love to agree with you provided it would have allowed the free transport when you have converted it is a fleet why you need to stop private vehicle that exposes you there so your measures are what joyta and the panelists are here saying is just an eager is taking the attention away is fooling the people is getting into the politics instead of delivering and mind it it is just not odd even it is since last 15 20 days your transport enforcement team is out on the road seizing the vehicle where were you sleeping when it was announced long back 10 years 15 years back why these vehicles were plying why now you need to impound it why you are getting into societies and impounding the vehicle now you were sleeping before that as the panelists have said here this is fourth time okay so are you not prepared what mechanism you have put in place how okay. many also then ad advocate advocate ajay ji now now uh, it is for the first time that aam aadmi party has come to power in punjab now even as there are going to be uh, correctives preemptive measures uh, subsidies incentives that are going to be given to the farmers to stop parali burning there is a gestation period it uh, takes time not, and therefore is, is it is it would it I'm be valid to just blame the government at the in Madam, delhi and I'm in part punjab to for the parali burning for the parali paralysis Pakistan that is being witnessed parali. will you put the blame on pakistan that is not the solution i am asking what about the rains is punjab responsible for the flooding in delhi what what the 
Okay. Complete... You know, I, I would like to focus. I would not like to go to the rain Parali, and, Parali, and the water problems and the electricity problems. I am focusing on Parali burning. I am focusing on the poor air quality of Delhi. And I am particularly focusing on the odd even scheme. And as the results came out on my survey, uh, there is in fact a large considerable percentage of people who do believe in the odd even scheme that has been launched by the government. So coming back to Joyita, so now the Joyita, so it's a situation such as this. Uh, last year, the odd even scheme was uh, not implemented. Last to last year, it was implemented. So again, the question, what is the criteria that the government has when it decides to implement the scheme? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't think there is any criteria for the government. It is just a knee jerk uh, response. Because you see, and that is what is happening. Where is the scientific evidence to prove that odd even scheme brings down air pollution? If, in fact, I have been reading up a little bit, and it seems sometime back, I think 2015 or 16, when the odd even scheme was implemented for some time, I think pollution actually went up during that time. So it is not. Listen, Delhi, you have to make Delhi's air, uh, air clean. It needs all round action. And yes, introduction of the electric buses will go al to an extent it will help. But you see, conversion to electricity also, that electric uh, vehicles also will take a lot of infrastructure, building, having these electric power points, the charging points. Of course, now they have started coming up, but they have to be much more, I would say, even more than petrol pumps. Yeah. So that infrastructure is yet to be built. And in but fact, yes, initiative that, subsidies, incentives being given to every household yes. to put up these charging, electric charging points. I, a good initiative, yeah, I think. Yeah, we have a long way to go. But I'm saying the sustainability of having electric vehicles, private and public, will go a long way because uh, the, uh, the air quality index of Delhi in general, you know, the rest of the 11 and a half months is also going to improve because while we yes. talk about Parali and the uh, impact of it on, on Delhi for the two, three weeks, it, it, it is also on the larger scheme of things, the broader scale of things that, that these sustained measures will then bear fruit. Yes, but at the same time, the root cause is parali burning, is yeah. the burning of stubble. And now for the, that the for the three for the two three weeks, yes. Yes, but these are the two three weeks that actually these are the weeks that are killing people. Everybody I know has got either a cough or, in fact, I was just talking to a doctor. He says people who did not have a cough and cold have got cough and cold, and those who had cough and cold have all got asthma. Okay. So okay, these are the okay. killing the people. And what is the um, Army Party government in Punjab doing over there? The Supreme Court is right. And Punjab is the source. Okay. Uh, and there's a lot that can be done, but nothing is happening because it goes of all vote bank reasons. Okay, all right, fair enough. Raji, quickly a response from you. And I want to take a larger view of things and more pragmatic approach. And uh, the question then that what arises is, uh, why would the government of Delhi just implement the odd even scheme during these two to three weeks or whatever? I don't know how, what is the duration. I think it is from 13th of November up until the 20th. So these seven, eight days. Right. And, and then the also, also the bigger question, like I was posing this question to, to Joyita. Now, eh, Delhi is amongst the worst cities in the world when it comes to the air quality index. So a sustained effort in uh, building eco-friendly structures, allowing for infrastructure that is going to facilitate uh, uh, electric vehicles. Now, these are important points. These are right affirmative actions that are being taken by the government. Like I said, it is a long gestation period that it will take. There are, I think, I don't know, maybe 10 years for Delhiites to then completely switch to electric vehicles. Now, now that's a mindset change that needs to be brought in. That is also the, the price quotient, the price point of electric vehicles. Uh, that is also going to be the question for Delhiite in terms of the afford affordability of the electric vehicle. So um, I'm not looking at this just two week period. I'm looking at a whole 365 days in Delhi. 
So I think if you talk about the 365 days, let's look first at the vehicles themselves. You know, if there is a, a public transport system, forget about whether it is electric, not electric. Of course, we need to go electric and it is a more technology driven thing. And slowly it is happening all over the world. It will happen here also. But even before that, you know, the, the last mile connectivity in Delhi in terms of uh, road transport, etc., has not improved. I think it has not gone to any large extent better than what it used to be. The only thing that has happened in Delhi, which has still saved it from, you know, absolute catastrophe is probably the metro, you know, which carries about 25, 30 crore, uh, 30, 25, 30 lakh people every day. But actually speaking, you know, somebody has to think about all those things first. You know, there's nobody who wants to drive a car today for the heck of yeah. driving a car. You know, it's basically it's because also, there is also a good, good scheme to have in, in the future, maybe in the coming 10 to 15 years, that alongside with Metro, it is going to be supported by the R R R R RRTS. Uh, and, and that is going to link the tier, you know, tier three cities to, to the Metro. So, so like in all, working all in conjunction, forcing and in fact uh, encouraging people to take 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 the metros take the public transport so rrts is basically intercity but what i am saying is within the city even yeah. in terms of the uh, you know the effectiveness of our bus systems etc probably that needs to improve okay number 2 as joita said you know more more green cover needs to happen uh, those are things of course they have gestation but i think you know this has been happening for 4 years now question is what are the other measures which one can see as holistic measures that have been taken that is where the problem okay. to my mind is okay and as far as electric conversion is concerned i think that's a technology driven thing i mean uh, people are moving towards uh, electric you can convert electric buses because they are in your control but as far as uh, conversion of the of uh, you know of the of the vehicles or the of the private vehicles is concerned it'll it'll take its own sweet time i think it is okay. taking sweet time everywhere okay. else also all right but but the impetus continues from the government side to allow for this transition to happen smoothly yes, and true. rapidly that's as true. well all right uh, uh, i thank all of you for joining me on the telecast uh, and thank you my viewers for watching statistically speaking on the odd even scheme that has been launched and uh, thank you for your views and uh, do comment uh, on the comment section uh, on newsx.com, on newsx YouTube and on newsx Twitter and other social media accounts to tell us how do you view the subject that we have picked and the analysis that we have done de facto the results of the survey that we have put out, all of which have been voted by you, our viewers. Thanks for watching. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.